heading out to any of the football games tonight. It's going to feel more like August than uh, the middle of November. Temperature sitting at 74 degrees. Cloudy. College Station 73 here in Bryan. 73 in Brenham. 75 degrees in Hearn. So those temperatures really mild out there. You can see there's a little bit of traffic on uh, Texas Avenue, but we're not seeing any rain. No drizzle here in Bryan College Station. So that's good news. And really uniform temperatures across the area. A little bit warmer and getting 77 degrees there. It's also 77 in Fairfield. So those spring-like temperatures, they are sticking around. You can see nothing really showing up on radar. There may be a little bit of spot drizzle toward 290, but I think most areas are going to remain dry tonight. So you don't need the umbrella if you have any evening plans. If you're going to go out to dinner or if you're going to go to any of the football games, it should be a really nice night out there. Front, it's across northern parts of the Brazos Valley, lifting north as a warm front. That's going to allow that moisture to continue to feed into the Brazos Valley heading into Saturday morning. Going to be a little bit cloudy out there. Can't rule out some dense fog in areas. So if you observe any of that fog tomorrow morning, make sure you give yourself a few extra minutes to get to where you're going. And yeah, we could see some passing showers not only Saturday morning, but that's going to continue into the late morning, early afternoon hours with that spring air mass in place, just allowing the uh, that mugginess to continue to feed in off of the Gulf of Mexico. Temperature is going to warm up into the low 80s tomorrow afternoon. If you're stuck on that cloud cover for a few hours though it's possible your temperatures may be held into the upper 70s so just depending on how much sunshine you see will determine whether you climb into the low 80s or if you're stuck in the upper 70s and that's kind of what we saw today with some areas staying in the 70s and it's going to be another warm one out there heading into Saturday we're going to see those temperatures climb up into the mid 80s a good 10 degrees above average but if you like some cooler weather, I have that for you. As we see a little upper to, uh, upper level disturbance work its way into the plains, that's going to send a cold front south into the Brazos Valley. It's going to be nice out there Sunday. We're going to see sunny skies, low humidity, temperatures in the low 70s, maybe some upper 60s for our northern zone, and that's going to stick around heading into Monday as well. But you see that ridging out west? Yeah, this is going to start to shift toward the east as we head into Tuesday, and our temperatures start to increase heading into Tuesday, finally getting back into the mid-70s for most areas. And then the possibly a significant pattern change as we head into next weekend. So this isn't this week and this will be next week and maybe early that following week. So heading into Thanksgiving week, kind of looking like some ridging going to bump up in the Pacific Northwest and the southern parts of Canada. That could send a big trough right on into central parts of the country, including here in the Brazos Valley, maybe dislodging some true Canadian Arctic air into the area, dropping those temperatures quite a bit. Of course, this is still several days out. A lot can change. Models are all over the place right now, but this is something we're keeping an eye on. Definitely looking like a big pattern change instead of that tropping out west, looking like it's going to be across central parts of the country. So fingers crossed we get a little cool weather out there for the week of Thanksgiving, kind of get us in the spirit and uh, allow us to eat a lot of food without feeling uncomfortable. Taking a look at that 10 day forecast, we're going to see that those temperatures, they're pretty nice tomorrow and then they come down. Temperatures going to be pretty cool Tuesday morning as well. That's going to be the uh, chilliest morning Wednesday as our Monday as well as Tuesday morning is likely going to fall into the mid 40s. Can't rule out a couple upper 30s for that northern zone warming trend as we head into the end of the week next weekend. But then you see that cold front coming through. I have highs in the 60s. It actually could be colder than that. Stay tuned. Sports coming up next.